Hello friends, I am Shravana and welcome to my channel Sparkling Future. So today we will discuss about uh, Scala Flow Control. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So in the previous videos we have seen what is Scala and uh, basic data types available in Scala. So in today's video we are going to discuss about the flow control statements like if else pattern matching for loop while and do while uh, how how can we use and uh, how uh, how to execute that uh, how to do that we will see in today's video so right click on the package here you see scala worksheet click on that and say scala give some name okay true and click on finish okay so yesterday we have discussed about uh, these things I hope you remember uh, you can see that in the previous videos and uh, let's go to today's Scala worksheet so first one is uh, if else so if else is again uh, it's the it's pretty much the same the way how the it's there in the other programming languages so let's say if one is greater than two then print ln one is bigger else print ln two is bigger okay just save it and you can see two is bigger okay because two the, uh, this is false so it will go to the else statement and it is printing it and uh, this is a single line uh, if else if you wanted to write with multiple uh, if statements then what you can do is it's the same thing we will see okay if one is equal to two then open the braces and do the print ln else do this print ln okay I mean same of course same result so we can write it in a single line or we can write it in multiple lines if you wanted to add one more condition to the same if statement then we can say and one is greater than or equal to two something okay I'm just just for the sample I'm giving okay or you can add and or or condition as well or we can use uh, pipe symbol for logical or okay uh, so still that is false so it is coming that way so this is how if condition works and like switch in other languages Scala has case so pa for pattern matching okay so let's say well a equal to some 3 ok now match case uh, 1 target right apple something like that you have to print it case 2 grapes grapes case 3 grapes and anything else this underscore means this uh, case and the placeholder underscore means anything else something else I am just writing ok so that's it so what is the meaning of this is what is the value is 3 right so it will check if, if, if this is a value it is going to check a match so match this a with these cases so here it is 1 2 3 so here for 3 it is matching here right so it is printing the grapes in the output so this is what this is how we will write the case statement next we have the for loop so how to write is for i equal to 0 to 5 okay 
curly braces this is the symbol used for equal to okay less than and hyphen and then you create something called as result val result equal to x plus 1 and print l a result okay yeah if you can see here 0 to 5 right so it has added 1 here 1 2 3 4 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 1 5 plus 1 equal to 6 so it has printed this so this is how we can do and uh, for writing anything um, if you have a array right let's say list a is there you can directly pass list here instead of 0 to 5 instead of mentioning the range if you just pass list of a something like that if uh, we have declared it will automatically read all the va values in uh, elements in the list okay so this is a simple for loop and we can have complex for loops like uh, for j equal to i plus 1 to 5 okay and we can have multiple uh, uh, i mean complex for loops like this so instead of uh, one we can just have j also so you can see here right it has uh, count in uh, instead of uh, i mean it now it has two loops for i equal to zero uh, for i loop and this is the j loop and for this complex loop it has printed all the values here so this is how for loop works in scala so next one is uh, while like any other language it's the same same while loop so let's say we have uh, some val x equal to five let's say some take some value and then so we'll say while I'll just uh, press enter so that screen will come up. Yeah, so while x is greater than or equal to 0 until we have to do right, right in the while. So because of that, I'm giving that condition. And inside this, let's say print ln x until where x minus equal to 1. Okay, so because I think it's val, it might be erroring. Okay, okay. minus equal to 1 so for that reason it has errored because we cannot change uh, var right val so for that reason So it has printed. We have not closed this for loop. Hope you have noticed. For that reason, it has <laughs> printed multiple times. So let's close it here and then run the while loop. Because inside the for loop, right? So it has multiple times. How many times this i and j loops have has run? Uh, for each i loop, it has repeated. So now we can see, right? So first five. Uh, then uh, 5 is greater than or equal to 0 so you, it went inside and uh, printed the 5 and minus 1 will become 4 then again the loop will come here 4 is greater than 0 printed 4 then again came back 1 minus 1 equal to 3 the same again iterated over this loop then 2 then 1 then 0 yes 0 is uh, greater than or equal to 0 here we have the equal to also for that it, it has printed 0 then again 0 minus 1 minus 1 it, this condition failed so it has come out of the loop and it has printed only from 5 to 0 ok so this is how while loop works next do while loop so pretty much both are the same but first the condition will be executed once and then it will be uh, uh, the condition will be executed later so how to write that is first in the do condition we will say print ln y ok and we will say y equal to minus 1 
or we because it's a return uh, i mean it's the opposite one right so we'll say like this y plus uh, okay this is why it is giving the error it should be var okay see now the error is gone so until while we'll say x is less than or equal to 0 it's the opposite okay let's save this and we can see right first uh, y is 0 so 0 is printed next y plus 1 0 plus 1 1 and 2 3 4 5 so until it is 5 it has printed the values so this is how do while works so that's all about uh, flow control statements in Scala you can try with multiple examples and uh, get back to me in case you are facing any issues thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you